Well, in the last 15 years, we've developed technologies to allow us to do genetic testing of the embryos. More recently, we've developed something called an array CGH, which is, gives us the ability to break the DNA into small segments and then actually analyze the DNA. This is allowing us 99.9% .9 certainty for gender. We're seeing more and more patients today that are coming to our center to balance their families. So if they have a child already and they would like to have the opposite gender, uh, we're offering them an opportunity to use these technologies to balance their family. There have been multiple advances uh, to allow us to do these genetic test on the embryos. Uh, one of the most significant is our ability to biopsy the cells from the embryo. We're using a laser. The laser allows us to put a confined defect in the zona, making it very easy to remove the cells. In addition, we've been able to grow the embryos longer in the laboratory, giving us an opportunity to get a larger sample size. That combined with Array CGH, we're able to get the 98% certainty that we're seeing with Array CGH day five biopsies. An ideal candidate for gender selection would be uh, certainly fertile women uh, under the age of 38 or patients undergoing infertility that have been determined to be very good responders. Those patients are more likely to produce genetically normal eggs and when we're doing gender, obviously we want both genders represented. In our center we see patients that have infertility that are interested in getting pregnant and once they're educated they have the ability to identify the gender uh, we'll select gender often. Uh, in addition, we're seeing patients who have no fertility issues uh, that do have a child already and are looking to have a baby of the, usually the opposite gender and balance their families.